if you want to buy cheap coins to buy the players that you want in FIFA 15, make sure you get them from FIFA suppliers. They're a very reliable source. Make sure you use the link in the description. Hey guys, before we start this video, I just want to tell you guys, uh, there's some rumors going around that I got banned because I have coin sponsors and I bought coins or whatever and EA banned me, that's why I have a new account. Today, this is the date, October 8th, no fucking uh, Photoshop, no nothing, I literally sold everything I have, I'm still selling some contracts, getting them out of the way, uh, I don't know what I could prove to you that I'm not banned. I still have my record, I'm still level 93 in EA experience, you see my match earnings, turn your face is there, everyone's there, I'm not banned. Simply, I sold everyone, sent my coins to a new account, and I'm starting fresh. So that's to clear out all the rumors. Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here, and today I'm going to bring you a little rant video about EA, because honestly they've been really frustrating, and today in my live stream, whoever was there saw my frustration, and if you don't know, I live stream every Tuesday and Thursday from 9 o'clock USA time, Pacific time, to and 5 p.m. UK time, so join our live stream, it's really fun. And I got fucked over pretty bad by the EAs. Uh, as simple as me beating the keeper, then the keeper pulling me by my legs, no foul at all. My opponent goes for a counterattack, 90th minute. I don't slide tackle, I don't stand tackle, I just stand still. His player runs into me and gets a penalty to like that certain degree and lag and all that stuff. So we're gonna cover a lot of shit. Number one, the most important thing that pisses me off is the latency bar. My internet is 120 megabits per second. I pay a lot of money to get that internet. I don't need to suffer if somebody doesn't have fast enough internet. I'm not sounding like an asshole. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but if you can't afford fast internet or your country doesn't have fast internet, don't play online ultimate team, play offline, it's as simple as that. It's not it's not like fair or not fair. You're ruining the experience for everybody has fast internet. Nobody wants to play a game with lag. Lag the game is just bad. You can't play FIFA, especially like a game like FIFA where timing is key, slide tackles, passing, shooting, everything needs timing. You can't play a game with lag and every five seconds the game stops and there's a fucking loading screen like EA just fucked everyone over if you go to head to head there's a latency bar but in ultimate team there's no latency bar maybe their point of view is like we feel bad for people that don't have internet nobody plays with them honestly you're ruining the rest of the community while doing that even though you're trying to feel bad for others you gotta take an executive decision and just put a latency bar if somebody wants to play with, the, with him let him go ahead but again Majority of people don't want to play a game with fucking life. Two, your referees are retarded. They're mentally retarded. They have mental problems. I go games where I give away like three penalties. And I really do not tackle. I don't do shit. I just stand there. I don't press stand tackle. Just my player is big and your player is small. Your player falls on the ground to get a penalty. Then on the other hand, sometimes there are really penalties where somebody slide tackles you or they keep opposing by your feet. The ball doesn't move at all. This is what happened to me today. I did... I was running against the keeper, I pushed the ball away, was trying to beat the keeper. The ball didn't move, didn't accelerate, didn't change directions, the ball kept on rolling. And the keeper pulled Sturge by his feet, no penalties. Then 90th minute counterattack, he gets a penalty and scores, which is absolute bullcrap. And two, I don't know if it's handicap, I don't know if you just base your game on fucking pace, which you do obviously, but... Good players like Diego Costa, Mandzukic, or just good players in general, Falcao, I'm not able to enjoy them when I know I could choose Dumbia for 1,000 coins that's going to perform much better than him. I have a team, a BPL team that costs 800,000, 700,000, Yaya Toure, Rooney, Company, Sturridge, Courtois, just a really fucking good team. I struggle every game to win with them 1-0 or I lose even. I lost with them yesterday like three times. It's like that shouldn't be happening if I'm playing against a shit team that has no chemistry. However, I'm not saying this because like I'm bad, just listen to me. Then I use a team with Dumbia, or I even use a cheap BPL team with Vargas, or I use any pace team. For example, Dumbia and Musa. I destroyed people. I played a guy that had Bale, Messi, Benzema. Made him rage quit. Then I played another guy that had Bale and Neymar. This is division. I'm not saying online tournament. Divisions. And I made him rage quit. I scored five goals with him. Five goals with Dumbia alone. The game, like Dumbia in this game, is a combination of Zlatan, Zlatan's strength, 
Messi's agility and Ronaldo's pace it's just, it's really not fair, it's honestly stupid, you better patch it, you better honestly patch it. Uh, the kickoff glitch, when in real life did you ever see somebody take the ball and run full sprint, not even a skill move, not one skill move, just run full sprint and just little change left and right while running full sprint and score a goal, when does that ever happen in real life? You know how frustrating that is when you're playing in Division 3 and fucking... You score a really nice goal, it takes you 40 minutes to score a really nice goal, that guy off kickoff just runs with Remy and taps it in, then celebrates. Like, that's really frustrating, EA, you gotta patch your stuff. Talking about your guys are trash, your fucking servers are the worst. Again, you guys were voted worst company. You were voted the worst company, I think... I don't know, was that like three years in a row you guys were voted worst company? Don't you think you need to change that? Maybe improve? Maybe become before last? You guys have honestly been voted worst company for the past two or three years. Your servers are crap, everything you do is crap, all you guys want money. Like, I was, I needed two wins to get to Division 1. Division 2 is fucking hard, it's really hard. I got my first win, then second win, I got it, I got really excited. The referee blew his whistle, I pressed A to continue. They're like, you have been disconnected from EA servers, leaving Ultimate Team. It takes me to the main menu. I press ultimate team again, it signs me back in immediately. It's like, well, I thought your servers weren't working, or my obviously my internet's not the problem. And I just went back in, so your servers aren't down. So it's just like a little glitch that fucking kicked me out and gave, gave me the loss, and I stayed in Division 2, which is really frustrating too. And just, you have a lot of glitches and a lot of bugs, and you guys generate a lot of money. You should be able to fix these issues. At least invest. Honestly, if Pro Evolution bet, get a better game, I hope everybody buys it and you go bankrupt because you deserve it. And last, last thing about coin sponsors and FIFA points. Please don't say that coin sponsors ruin the game. You're honestly talking out of your ass. Because obviously people want coins. And since there's no online tournaments or not online tournaments, if there's no tournaments as the World Cup tournament where I wish you would make one day that a group stage or just a long term that requires seven eight games you win you get 50k and two gold premium packs that would be a nice tournament everybody playing it however you guys are gold diggers and you don't give anyone coins and oh if you get coin sponsors we will ban you but you could buy FIFA points as much as you want then fucking YouTube I'm not gonna call people names people that don't get mad let's call them just I don't know, I just want to say anything. They spent fucking 9,000 quids, and I don't know how many dollars, that's seven, I don't know, it's, it's around 1.5 or something dollars. It's 5,000 pounds on FIFA points of opening packs. You, the game's worth $50, but you paid 5,000 pounds on opening points. That's 900,000 FIFA points. That's fucking retarded. That's retarded. And then they ruin the market. Then people say, oh, you're promoting coin sponsors. You're ruining the market. Like, that guy just opened, I don't know how many hundreds, tens of thousands of packs and just put everything on the market and just flooded the market with players. It was like he's creating the team of the year market crash by himself. EA, don't blame coin sponsors. If you remove FIFA points, I'll admit, coin sponsors should be bad. But since there's FIFA points, why give the money to you and so you can put it in your back pocket? I say might as well give it to coin sponsors and I could get my own coins and buy the players that I want. And yeah, final moral, EA, you could suck my ass, you're absolute shit, I wish you go fucking bankrupt one day, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, comment below, tell me what are your thoughts, if I missed out on anything, if I was wrong on something, correct me, and drop a like if you think I'm right. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here, I'll see you guys next time, peace out.